Oh, and uh, this is part three of my RTS tutorial, and I've kind of been making some changes, so I decided I should stop and get you up to speed. First, I made uh, a sprite. It's just a red circle that is 64 by 64 pixels, and the origin is 3232. The color doesn't matter. Um, just so you know, to make a perfect circle in a sprite, no matter what size, all you have to do is um, pick the circle tool, go from the cornermost block or pixel down to the bottom rightmost corner pixel, and it'll get a perfectly round circle for you. So that's what I did, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need it. Then I made an object called stop, and then a step event self.x equals and this is where we have to make a lot of changes global.desx and self.y equals global.desy we're making um, we're going to be making all of the desy and desx variables into dot global so go everywhere and change desx and desy to global dot just copy I mean paste global dot in front of every time it says desx and desy I'm just going to be going through all of them. I already did it for that one. You can delete your collision with worker. Uh, let's see, left pressed. Okay, I didn't do it on this one yet. Don't need to. And this one I think I did. Yep. So once you do all that fancy stuff and make it a global variable, what will happen is, um, I'll show you. Don't forget to put the object in your room. As you can see, the red circle moves. And uh, I mentioned last time how we're going to change the code a little bit for when you click. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, stop. We're going to uncheck for solid. And worker, we need to go into global left pressed if position is a collision free make sure it's only solid and change worker to solid now I believe I added some other code right here um, before this this is a lot different before we had if selected equals one we say moving equals one and image angle equals uh, point direction self dot x etc etc now we're only doing that we put around that an if statement if self dot x is greater than global dot desx plus 10 or how you do or you hold down the shift key then there's a, uh, a button right over your enter key or up and to the left it should also be a slash I'll do it down here slashes if you do shift that you'll get straight up and down line two of those is or so you say or self dot x is less than global dot des x minus 10 so it's either greater than or less than global dot x plus or minus 10 and then uh, we have an open bracket so now basically what it's saying is where you click has to be 10 to the left or to the right of itself so that means when you're clicking and selecting an object, if you do it towards the center of the object, it won't move or spin around like it did before, and it looks a lot smoother. So it won't move when you click on itself, or and it won't move when you click on another object, solid object. All other objects are fine, so that way you can have decorations and things like that. So now when we do it, I'm going to demonstrate for two different reasons, uh, two different things. One of them we have to fix. One, desx sets to itself, and that's the last one. So we're going to select this guy, and we're going to move it over here. And it moves to the center of that. Can't quite get there because it's checking for all objects. I'm trying to see if it's... Oh, I just realized, there's, uh, I, n now that we're using an object, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. Uh, first, I'm going to have to deselect this guy. I'm going to select this guy and that guy, and we're going to move them to there. You see how they both reach it, and they don't really hit each other a lot anymore? Well, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to change a couple things. First, stop. I'm going to modify 
I'm going to transform scale it to a half um, for whatever reason I didn't resize the canvas so basically what I'm doing is I'm shrinking this down to 32 by 32 okay so we're all set there we have the circle it's now 32 by 32 now what we do is we go into stop we uncheck visible that's very important now worker what we do is in the step event instead of MP potential step what we're going to say is um, now we do want MP potential step we want to change the true to a false now it will only avoid solid objects then we put in this at event collision with stop set moving to zero All right, now I also said we'd be going over uh, resources doesn't look like we're going to be able to fit that in don't think we have enough time but at least the moving is completely done now click on a guy move it and it stops click on another guy move them both they stop and they all group together click on the third guy have them all move to a central location he had to move around a little bit but he got to where he needed to go now I'm deselecting these three I click all around they don't go click on this guy he's going now how will we move this guy back okay select that guy I'm moving him over there he'll go around the spaceships until he can reach that area now if I click him over here he'll once again go around the spaceships and find the best way to get to the location so now they all move around together they all find ways and when you click on them they don't oh. why is this one not moving okay he's moving never mind and they all group together kinda so now moving for these characters is completely finished I'm going to be making a new video because I won't be able to make one in a while uh, about resources and buildings coming up next uh, we're gonna do the resources first I know we're gonna do the buildings first and then we're gonna incorporate resources so I'm gonna make sure those videos get up today because I won't be able to make a video for quite some time so thanks for watching please rate and please comment